gotta be a red. Straight up ahead, it's gonna be about a minute before we get there though. I'm just gonna keep watching. That was a mullet that went airborne and then spooked all the bait fish, but there we go. They're right above the oyster. We got a little mud chicken right here. Oh, wait a minute, that's a speckled trout. It's your lucky day, buddy, because the only thing we're gonna keep is um, flounder. All right, get the glove wet. Whoa, homie, chill out. I don't wanna hurt you, but I will. I'll slap you, buddy. <laughs> Honestly, I won't. Don't nobody call PETA on me. Beautiful speckled trout right there. All right, bud, take it easy. Let's uh, keep going. Lots of oyster right inside this area, but since it's high tide, we've got a lot of uh, water coming in that makes it easy for us to get through here with the trolling motor. All righty, welcome back to the gorgeous Texas Gulf Coast, everyone. Today, uh, we've got a free day. I don't think I'm gonna be keeping anything unless we catch a keeper flounder then I might keep them and uh, cook them up for lunch. But as it stands, I'm just gonna enjoy mother nature. We've got favorable conditions, very low winds out of the Southwest and uh, a high tide. So uh, I was able to get into this back lake with no issues whatsoever. So we're gonna continue cruising the grass line and uh, just enjoy the weather. So uh, we've got about three more hours. It kind of seems like we're in the nursery, but no need to worry with that amount of time. I'm sure we might be able to get lucky. There we are. Gotcha. Oh, that's a flounder. I don't think he's gonna be a keeper though. Got you on the paddle tail. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Little guy, hold on, man. <laughs> you done ruined my paddle tail, buddy. So we've been in the nursery today, which it's not so bad. Here, let's get that out the way. Put that inside the water. Yeah, this guy's a little tater skin. The only way he's gonna taste good is if you throw some sour cream chives and cheese on him. A little bit of bacon bits. But either way, still a really beautiful fish. Look at those colors, just amazing. We're gonna let you go, bud. Whew, magic carpet ride straight down to the bottom. Wow. <laughs> Spook that gar. Turd, you'd have been sushi if you'd have just been one split second too late. Minn Kota would have got you. There we go. There we go. Oh, that is a nice mud chicken. All right. Let's grab the ego. And I'll tell y'all why. Because guess what? We've just... Get inside the net. <laughs> Uh, guess what we just completed the nursery slam so uh chill out buddy here let's power pull down all right there we go bro i'm gonna need you to just chill out just for a quick second so that i can talk to everyone and then we'll get you right back inside the water all right so uh about the nursery slam it's if you're interested in entering the giveaway then make your comment down below just any comment it doesn't have to be anything in particular so for those of y'all that always comment on the videos you're gonna be entered in it automatically just by making your comment and uh yeah so a gray nursery slam t-shirt boy that is a pretty red look at that his tail is a little bit bloodied blue a little bit as well someone said that and, and this is what i've heard a lot as well that their b tails are blue it's because of the iodine in the shrimp and that seems to be the most logical thing but yeah there we go check that out right there nursery slam t-shirt 
giveaway. Yeah, that dude just slapped me with this tail. Got my crap all blooded. That is a good flounder right there. Come over here. Oh my gosh, that is a good one. Oh, he saw the net. <laughs> that is a big one. Come on, come on. No, buddy, get over here. Oh my gosh. Come on. Get... No, 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 no. No, my gosh, this guy is a big one. All right, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh man, oh man, oh man. Woo! I knew it was just a matter of time, and we are way back here, too. This marsh has never let me down. The back lake right here where I'm at, I can hear the waves crashing on the beach. That's how close we are to the gulf. And... Well, guess what? I'm not letting this guy go right here. Look what we got him on, the curl tail bug. This redfish jig right here. All right. This redfish jig right here. You can bounce it off the bottom. Look at that. Oh my gosh, nice and juicy. Oh, look at that, that is just so beautiful right there. Here we go. Here goes a thumbnail. Look at that right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, sir. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw a lot of bait and I'm like, that's got to be the perfect spot. Come here, Mr. Ego. You're putting in some overtime. That guy just came and crushed it. Yeah, baby. Holy moly, man. We are really going to eat good. This might be dinner instead of lunch. Oh, wow. That is two good flounder right there off the curl tail. Oh my gosh, you gotta love these bugs right here. It's a great hook set too. Really sharp hooks to go through that mouth. Oh my gosh, that's another good flounder. Look at that, probably 16, close to 17 inches right there. Here, let's... Uh, we're gonna weigh this fella. He has got a big old fat belly right now, too. Okay, so. Buddy, I'm not letting you go. I mean, that was a nice try. But that's another nice try. Get your butt over here. 15 and a half inches right there. Going on the stringer. Well, that cut me. Definitely got it through, but when it busted through, it got my finger. It's all right. You're gonna taste good tonight. Whew. There's the bite. Oh, there's the red that yeah baby this is probably going to be a keeper we're not going to keep a redfish though but man these guys y'all have been hiding this whole time oh my gosh buddy oh 
Oh yeah, that's definitely a keeper. Get away from that trolling motor. There we go. My gosh. It's starting to look like a three ring circus. I'm going to measure him really fast. See if he's going to be a keeper. And then all we'll need is a speckled trout and then we get a true slam. What is? What are the chances? A nursery slam and then an actual slam slam. Get over here, baby. No, this guy ain't going to make it. Look at that, 19 and a quarter. Almost made it though. But go ahead and say it. Go ahead, say it. Almost ain't good enough. There we go. Such a great lure. Oh my gosh, look at that tail. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, buddy. Go enjoy the rest of your day. Woo! Wow, let's just keep having fun, right? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, to prepare these guys. I've already taken off the head and their guts just to keep the meat as fresh as I possibly can. I think we're gonna get a little bit fancy. I'm gonna pull the mandolin out. We're gonna fillet these guys, not on the mandolin, with the knife. But what we're gonna do is slice up some lime, uh, maybe a jalapeno, some sweet onion, and uh, I don't know, we'll get creative. Let's see what we can put together to like kind of pan sear these on the cast iron skillet. And then what we'll do is finish it off by topping it with all those vegetables that I was just talking about inside the oven. And uh, rather than do the traditional kind of pan sear fry in olive oil and butter that y'all have seen me do just here in the recent past, we're gonna try to finish her up inside the oven. So let's see how this is gonna turn out. nice hot pan we're gonna throw in about two tablespoons of olive oil right there now we're gonna throw in three tablespoons of butter all right butter is all melted we're gonna throw in our onion what I'm trying to do is make a bed of onion before we actually throw our flounder in there. Plus I want the onion to kind of soften up just a little bit. Now we want to soften up our jalapenos. Now we're gonna add our four large cloves of garlic that was minced. Next we're gonna add our flounder fillets. Just gonna layer them in here, make sure they're all side by side. So the flounder isn't actually being cooked by like the frying process. We're actually gonna finish it off in the oven. I'm hoping that the fish is gonna be able to absorb all the flavor from every bit of ingredients that we've got inside there. I'm gonna put some sea salt, fresh cracked black pepper, all right, so now what we're gonna do is throw some cilantro. We ran out of the fresh variety, it kinda went bad. So I've got the next best thing, which is the, uh, the dried up pine. And then we throw in our limes. That's gonna give it a little bit of zest. Fresh Roma tomato. So now we're gonna finish this off inside the oven. Let's cut our heat. There we go. So what we're gonna do is just finish that off inside the broiler uh, for approximately two to three minutes. It's not gonna take long at all, judging on how fast it was cooking because of how high I had the stove. Uh, it's not gonna take very long at all. My hope, again, is that all those flavors are gonna be able to melt to, uh, together and lend 
the uh, flounder, every bit of taste that they're able to produce. All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the creation, but before we actually get into the fish, I just want to introduce you all to my wife, Shannon. She hasn't been on the channel before, so <laughs> how do you feel? Embarrassed. <laughs> All right, so normally she's always behind the scenes whenever we're eating the fish. And uh, today, well, I was able to talk her into actually getting in front of the camera. We're gonna dig in and give you an honest opinion of what I feel the fish tastes like. I have high hopes for it, but then again, I don't know. Judging on the way the onions look, thank goodness we made a bed for the fish to lay on because those onions are very caramelized, uh, downright almost charred. But uh, here we go, let's just dig in. It smells really good. Um, I just, let's just hope that it, it's gonna taste as good as it smells. The fish by itself right there, we'll get a little bit of the cilantro on there. No. It's not good? It is just plain. I'll get it with onion. There's really no flavor at all. Uh, the fish, it's cooked. You have to seriously be a fish lover. This is gonna be one of those dishes where none of the flavors actually melted together to produce something that was just spectacular. I think it tastes good with the onion. Uh, I, I don't like it. It doesn't um, taste fishy. Yeah, it, it's definitely fresh. You can taste that for sure. So what I'm gonna do is dig up some of the onions, uh, a little bit of the jalapeno, the uh, garlic that was down there as well So here we go. There's a jalapeno and some onion. I Don't I really didn't like that first bite. It is bite. very plain without the um, onion It's not bad. It's just not super no. flavorful. It's I don't like it. I'm gonna wash it down with some beer Got some Ooh, that's good. avocado. Let's try to spruce this thing up just a tad bit so let's doctor this thing up with a little bit of hot sauce. Don't put that on my side. <laughs> I'm not, but I mean, at this point, I think I, it needs every bit of help that it can get. All right, so here we go. Mmm. -hmm. Now we got some flavor to it. A little bit more spice because the jalapeno basically lost all its spice. I'm gonna give it on a number scale from one to 10, this guy's gonna get like a three. Oh, I would give it a five. A five? No. Yeah. A three is really low. Like a three is like it's super bad. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's, not. it's got zero taste to it. To me, it's got zero taste. We're going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I will never kill a fish in vain. Um, it's completely palatable, but it's not something that you're going to go scream to the friends about, like, hey, you've got to try this. So uh, it is what it is. I wished I would have did something a little bit better because flounder is so, it's such a darn delicate fish that is like really tasty and I didn't do it any justice. I almost felt bad. Yep, a three is what it's going to get for me. What did you say you were giving it? A five? Yeah, no. Anyhow, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for tagging along on today's adventure. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. And for each and every one of y'all not subscribed to the channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.